So in this video, I'm going to do a multicolor design with the Epson 7720 inkjet DTF film hack. So first I send my artwork over to the Cricut design space so I can make my white layer using heat transfer vinyl. This is how your image should look if you're making that solid white base and you have a stroke around the words. Okay, now my design is ready to cut. Okay, now my design is done cutting. Let's click print. Select your printer. Make sure your artwork is in the right spot. You want to go to output and you want to select down to reverse your artwork. You want to uh, go to color management. Make sure it's set to perceptual. Then let's click setup. This is your printer settings. You want to go to preference, paper quality. My, my tray is the rear tray. And then click advanced, paper size, A3, borderless printing on, output quality, high quality. Then you hit print. And you want to make sure your paper size is set to A3 in your Adobe Illustrator as well. Then you hit print. And this is the uh, DTF transfer paper that I'm using. I got it from Amazon. You want to make sure that you're printing on the matte side and not the glossy side. This is my DTF powder I got from Amazon. I normally uh, put a big pile of the paper into the rear feed because it, uh, it doesn't accept just one. It just slides straight through. And this is my inkjet print. Sprinkle that powder on it. As soon as it comes out, I want to catch that ink while it's good and wet. And then you want to move your powder up and down over your design so it can uh, evenly coat your, your ink. So with the curing process, I had my heat press set to 360 degrees for 360 seconds. These I keep my heat press, as you can see, probably an inch, inch and a half uh, above the artwork. So now that I have my heat transfer vinyl and my inkjet ready, I put my heat transfer down, heat press it for about 10 seconds because I knew I was going to heat press it again, uh, 320 degrees. And I did about 25 seconds on my inkjet when I laid it, layered it over the uh, heat transfer vinyl for about 25 seconds at 320 degrees. Uh, I did a second, a second uh, press for about maybe 10 seconds and this is how I came I came out decent but it still has some uh, white showing through the black part I believe I didn't cure it well uh, I think the best cure would be 360 degrees 410 seconds and I think that's a good curing time but I'll be working on some projects today yeah so this is my first time doing it. it's trial and error I'll figure out the best curing time and do another video but overall the uh, DTF uh, inkjet method I mean I guess it's it could work but uh, you just have to figure out the best uh, settings and the best everything to for it to go together on top of that uh, HTV vinyl thanks for watching guys if you got any value out of this video today please like comment subscribe if you got any pointers for me to uh, tr uh, cure that uh, DTF film better please leave it down in the comments see you guys later